a killer, a mastermind, a survivor. We have all heard of the honey badger and wolverine, exceptionally capable of withstanding much larger animals than themselves. But at the same time, the speed and dexterity of both leave much to be desired and is the major reason behind them preying on small animals or the sick and the weakened. Contrary to that, the heroine of today's video surpasses them in both aspects. She is not only almost as aggressive and enduring as a wolverine, but in addition, she also masters incredible agility, speed, and the Karza and Chuthrao, and is the largest marten in the Old World, Africa, Europe, and Asia, with the tail making up more than half her length. Martens are related to ferrets, weasels, and badgers, which are carnivorous, fur-bearing members of the Mustelidae family. The members of this family are known for their hyperactive and fearless nature. The yellow-throated marten is the largest and most colorful marten in the world. She is a large, robust, muscular, and flexible animal with an elongated thorax, a small pointed head, a long neck, and a very long tail, which is about two-thirds as long as her body. The length of her body, excluding the long tail, can reach up to 80 centimeters, and her weight is 7 kilograms. Her coat color ranges from dark brown to a yellow-brown with a distinctive creamy yellow throat. Her ears are low-set and rounded, and her fore and hind feet have naked pads with sharp claws, enabling her to climb quickly and easily through trees. Her small size belies her hunting skills and predatory tactics, which include the ability to bring down prey larger than herself. Don't be fooled by its cute face. The yellow-throated marten is a fearsome carnivore that has no natural predator. Even big cats like tigers and leopards maintain their distance from it. Large eagles are not spared either. You can spot the yellow-throated marten in many countries of South and Southeast Asia as well as China, Korea, and Russia. As a habitat, the yellow-throated marten prefers forests with a lot of tall trees, but can also live in thickets of bushes and even in the mountains. But she spends most of her time plotting her next attack against other animals in the upper stories of the trees. She needs to have a better look at her prey after all. The activity of the yellow-throated marten depends little on the time of day, but usually, she prefers to hunt during the day. However, around the full moon, she will use the increased light to hunt at night. Despite her huge size for a marten, the yellow-throated marten is a very fast and agile predator. She can run both on the ground and in trees without any problems while making jumps up to 9 meters long. Water and deep snow are also not serious barriers for the yellow-throated marten. The yellow-throated marten is very active and hardy. She can pursue her prey not only quickly, but also for a long time, easily covering a distance of more than 20 kilometers per day. And now, let's add to the description of the yellow-throated marten one more feature that radically distinguishes her from all other martens and greatly enhances her danger and effectiveness when hunting. She kills deer and monkeys just for sport. Let's elaborate. The yellow-throated marten is the only marten in the world who lives and hunts in groups. As a rule, a school includes no more than four yellow-throated martens, but there are also much larger schools, in which there may be more than eight animals. The diet of the yellow-throated marten is very diverse. She gladly eats berries, nuts, and honey, which she obtains in a rather unusual way. Having found a bee's nest, the yellow-throated marten sticks her long tail into it and smears it in honey, and then licks it clean. But still, the yellow-throated marten is an extremely active predator, and more than 90% of her food is made up of various animals. As a rule, the yellow-throated marten is not very interested in small prey, such as mice or squirrels. Much more willingly, the yellow-throated marten hunts large birds, hares, and even sables, which are her close relatives. The yellow-throated martens, found in tropical regions, may as well hunt monkeys.
but the most favorite prey of the yellow-throated marten is various undulates. Majorly, she hunts deer and musk deer, but often her victims are young sika deer, wapiti, and even moose calves. Though the yellow-throated marten can kill roe deer or musk deer solely, group hunting is much more effective. With such a hunt, a group of yellow-throated martens moves through the forest parallel to each other, at a distance of about 20 meters between themselves, regularly communicating with the help of yapping sounds. After the victim is found, yellow-throated martens begin to pursue it relentlessly, trying to tire it out and drive it to the most convenient place for attacks, such as a ravine or the shore of a reservoir. When hunting in winter, a thick layer of snow plays into the hand of yellow-throated martens, because in such a situation she can chase prey, jumping from tree to tree, while the victim is forced to run through deep snow, falling into it and quickly getting tired. Also, Karza often tries to drive their prey onto the ice, where it begins to slide, and due to her wide paws and powerful claws, get a huge advantage. Such a mastermind she is! Little is known about the mating system in yellow-throated martens. They breed from mid-February to late March and from late June to early August. During these periods, the males fight each other for access to females. Females typically give birth to two or three kits per litter, although litters of four or five have been observed. The gestation period usually lasts between 220 and 290 days. The hyperactive character of the yellow-throated marten cannot always be controlled, even in zoos. She hates to rest in a single place and be in captivity. Let us now dig a real story out, proving the fact. In 2016, at the Leningrad Zoo, a yellow-throated marten named Katrina tore off a board on the ceiling of her enclosure and made her way through the attic into the zoo courtyard. She was immediately noticed by the zoo staff and the chase began. The yellow-throated marten was driven into the courtyard of the zoo, but it was not possible to catch her with bare hands. Then the employees locked the yellow-throated marten in the courtyard, and they went to get the nets. But the courtyard could not keep the yellow-throated marten. Having climbed the steep wall of the zoo, she left it and ended up on the territory of Alexander Park. The zoo employees who arrived in time were able to drive the yellow-throated marten onto one of the trees, after which they began to swing it hoping that the yellow-throated marten would not be able to stay on the branches. Of course, this did not help, and then the employees called a detachment of the Ministry of Emergency Situations and began to water the tree from a hose, trying to drive the yellow-throated marten down. This measure worked. The yellow-throated marten jumped from the tree, but it was not possible to catch her. The sneaky yellow-throated marten ran towards the zoo, again climbed over its wall, and again found herself on her territory. A few hours later, the yellow-throated marten was still driven into a corner and caught, after which she was returned to the repaired and fortified enclosure. In 2018, another female Karza escaped from the Perm Zoo by opening a plug leading into a sewer pipe. The yellow-throated marten emerging from the sewer was found near the embankment, but it was only two days later that she was caught and returned to the zoo. Yellow-throated martens are fearless animals. They have only a few natural predators due to their powerful build. Their bright coloration and unpleasant odor as it has a self-defense mechanism traditional for the weasel family, glands that secrete a substance with a very strong foul odor. They are not afraid of humans or dogs and are easily tamed. Her skills and her body abilities as a whole resonate and result in an invincible and fearless predator. Accounting to her survival skills, her morphology and her adapting ability, she even defeats the natural conditions and challenges. Humans currently have very little influence on the numbers of the yellow-throated marten, since neither her tough meat nor coarse fur has found widespread use in humans, so as a result, she is widespread and abundant and is classified as least concern on the IUCN Red List. Although there isn't an imminent threat to the species, more concerted work is required